The study of dendroclimatology provides insights from the past and can have direct relevance to what's happening now or could happen in the future. Results of dendroclimatological research can be used to look at the climate conditions during the period of occupation in any particular area, but it also can provide insights into the predictability of climate and climate patterns. The reason trees are such a valuable resource in terms of studying the past is the fact that they provide absolute time resolution. If you ever look at the top of a stump, you'll see that there are circles, and those circles are the annual rings in trees. During the growing season, a ring is added at the outside. So the oldest ring is in the center and the youngest ring is at the outside. Wide ring is a reflection of good growing conditions, so the tree probably had plenty of moisture and it was not too hot. If a ring is narrow, there was not enough water and it might have been a little bit warmer. And so the tree was under what we might call a bit of drought stress. Cross-dating is the process of pattern matching of rings between trees. What you look for are ring patterns that match from tree to tree back in time, going from living trees into standing snags, into the archaeological record, and into even older remnant wood lying on the ground. Climate play a major role in the development of Puebloan culture. The communities were dependent on corn agriculture for their sustainability. During the period of early development in the Four Corners area, climatic conditions were favorable enough to allow subsistence agriculture to take hold. As time progressed, these subsistence agriculturalists expanded both in population size and into marginal areas where climate at this point was favorable enough for them to be able to actually practice agriculture. At the end of the 13th century, the tree rings clearly show a relatively a long sustained droughty period that was certainly a major contributing factor to the abandonment of the Four Corners area. If you've got a period of time where the crops are coming in with some regularity, everything is great. But if you hit a period where there is greater variability from year to year, you lose that predictability and you begin to hit internal stresses, food stresses, and probably internal conflicts. When you're faced with these kinds of stresses of society, you really have three choices. They can stay and try and wait out what's going on with the climate. They can try and use technology to adapt a little bit better to that climate variability. Or the third choice is you go somewhere else where conditions are better. And they did, they moved south. The impact of climate on society should not be underestimated. When conditions are good, you may have an expansion into marginal areas. And when conditions change, and they will change, it may be that you're not going to be able to sustain the society that you have without some amazing technological fix. You may find yourself in a situation not unlike the ancestral Puebloans people found themselves. As dendrochronologists and dendroclimatologists, we can provide those kinds of insights, but we're not the policy makers. It's up to the policy makers to take the information that is provided and make wise decisions about what we do with regard to our resources.